Hey, we found this animation studio because today it's all about animated games and pop songs. Today on the show, we're taking a look at Beautiful Joe, Whiplash, American Idol, and it versus it's Mario Kart Double Dash against Crash Nitro Kart. First game that we're going to talk about is Beautiful Joe. This one's from Capcom, and it's for the GameCube. What do you think of this one? It's GameCube exclusive, isn't it? That's right. It's one of the deals that Capcom made with Nintendo to make exclusive games for their system. Now, Beautiful Joe, I mean, a lot of people have been talking about this game since I saw it in E3. You know, I kind of went into this thing expecting, like, this amazing you right. know, Prince of Persia or Lord of the Rings type experience. So, experience. And I was left with the 2D side-scrolling platform game, which I've played a thousand times well, before. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, if you just look at this thing on the surface level and you just start playing through it, it does feel very similar to other beat-em-up type games that have been out there before. But yes. what this game does is it, it brings a lot of elements that are familiar into one package. And the way that the game starts out is like, you're just a regular average Joe, you take your girlfriend to the movie, and a bad guy pops out of the screen, drags her into the film, and then you jump into the movie. So all of the story elements are told as if you're playing inside of a film. Am I in inside the movie? Correct, my young friend. Well, the art style, I thought, was very well done. Very kind of comic book vibe going on here. So that's something you, you kind of haven't seen before. It's, you know, super deformed, big head kind of characters, and it's cell shaded. Kind of like you. Exactly. Super deformed, <laughs> big head character. Thanks, buddy. And, and what you can do in this game, it is sort of a 2D scrolling beat-em-up, but there are 3D elements into it in the game as well. You can jump into the space, you can uh, do double jumps really high up into the ground, and you see the camera shift into position for that. And the other thing that this thing does is it plays with game time. It'll actually, you can slow down time like it's the like Matrix. Game time. It'll slow it down, it's or you can, you can speed it up with the mock speed so you can go super fast. And there's, everything up. and there's a whole bunch of other little special moves that and you can pick up along the way. Are you? Yeah, obviously there's a lot of bosses to battle, and those are really cool, really well designed. The first one that you come up to is this giant helicopter, and you need to slow down time, otherwise the blades will cut you in half. It's not a bad game. I'm just saying that it's a game that I've played ten thousand times before. You've played ten years ago. You've played elements of this kind of game, but not all of this combined into one package. And it's more. And it's more than that. It looks like it's for kids, but it's really not just like a kid's game. You have to be a gamer to play this thing. What, what's beautiful? What is that? That's their term. That's their. They've created it for the Why game. Why not say beautiful? Why is beautiful? Why not say beautiful? Because it doesn't make any sense. Okay. What are you going to give beautiful Joe? I mean, like I said, it's an above average game. I'm going to give it a 7.5. That's a good score. It's, it's just okay. It's above average. It's much better than just okay. 8.5 out of 10. On the positive side, Beautiful Joe has an insane amount of moves that he can pull off. We love the style of the game. It's very cool. And although the game isn't super long, there are lots of incentives to go back and play it again because there's lots of stuff to find. On the negative side, as cool as this thing looks, the 2D platform elements might not be for everybody. For me, it got real repetitive really quick. And finally, what the f*** does beautiful mean? We've got another crazy animated game to talk about today. This one's called Whiplash, developed by Crystal Dynamics, published by Eidos. We looked at it on the Xbox, but it's also available for the PlayStation 2. First of all, I've never played a game called Whiplash, and that sounds like a perfect video game name to me. It could have been a lot better than Beautiful. Oh, well, whatever. And then the other thing is that you're playing two characters at once, but you're not like taking turns playing as those characters. They're actually chained together, dragging the other one as if they were like they just busted out of a chain gang or something. And the fact that it's a weasel and a bunny rabbit. Spanx. Spanks the, the weasel. weasel and uh, Redmond the rabbit. And the thing that's that's really funny about this is that the rabbit you just abuse. He's invulnerable, invincible. So you can just thrash him at anything you see, and you actually can combo 
and chain moves together and power up both Spanx and Redmond as, as you work your way through the game. And it's utter chaos. And Kind of like what I do to you every week. Yeah, pretty much. The first 10 or 15 minutes of this game, I really enjoy it. Yeah, I enjoyed it a absolutely. lot because it is unique. The whole storyline is that you go into this company and you have to inflict as much damage on the company as possible right. so that they go bankrupt. So you actually have this meter that... Counting down the counting billions down of dollars that the, the so company It starts worth. out at like $6 million and you're counting down. Which is a great idea. The other thing too is that you're trying to rescue all of the animals that they're testing stuff on. The secret is animals. Yes, animals. You often see them wandering the streets, bored and penniless, crapping all over your station wagon. And though they seem hopelessly dumb, we here at Genron overlook their lack of previous job experience and put them to work in our factory, testing the latest in our amazing line of products. The voiceover in this Very game good. is also well done. Yes. But they talk too they, fast. They spew it out too fast and it, it repeats too much as well. Right, and because of the volume, I can't even understand what the guy's saying half the time. Have trouble listening to the radio. You're playing can't hear. Maybe a time will see you here in the It actually is a very, very fun concept and a, and a great idea. Unfortunately, uh -huh, it right. kind of falls apart, not, not just because it gets repetitive, but also because there's some major technical problems with the way that the game is designed. Sometimes the camera gets lost behind objects and you get very confused as to where to jump and how to jump. I also found that within this big facility that you're trying to escape from, sometimes doors get closed on you, you get trapped, you can't progress because of whatever reason, and the only way that you can move on is to, like, start your game over and get past that thing again. It's almost like they painted themselves into a corner. So what are you going to give Whiplash? I'm giving it a 7.5 as well. 7.5. You like it as much as Beautiful Joe? Absolutely. Uh, it's nowhere near as good as that. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. On the positive side, this is a really unique concept. I mean, you get to wail on people with a cute little bunny. The whole idea of destroying a building and saving animals has never been done before. And the character voices, when you can actually hear them, are pretty funny. On the negative side, although the game is original, it gets repetitive really quickly. It's really hard to know what you're supposed to be doing sometimes, and there are camera problems in the platform sections of the game. Hey, stick around. We're going to be right back with a look at American Idol. You're excited about that, aren't you?